Hello, what's happening, everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing day. So very happy to be here for show number 2603 here on Twitch. Going to be taking on some Elite Lunarius and a couple other things. Got to get some uh, Boomerang Monkey experience to start things out. Let's head on in and see where the day takes us. Somewhere fun, I'm sure. Uh, excited to take on this challenge once again. Before we actually get started here, get a couple of fun people here in chat. Your wonderful support. Hey, Mountain Man Dan, thanks for eight months. What's up, Valiant Cookie Cranstable, Ivor Rama Hunu? What's up, Emil Spiky Taco, Great Rain, Swish Soleil? Hey there, Daki. What's up, Nero Sake, Storm Martin, uh, Spinlar Soapy Pahoos, Haskim Kinster, and all the rest. That's good. What's this? Okay. Um, Let's check our monkeys real quick. I got. 297,000 out of the 500,000 required to unlock Glaive Dominus. So I'm going to start today by doing just, uh, let's just hop into an easy resort. I'm just going to put down basically all boomerang monkeys. That's, that's the plan. There we go. So I'm curious with all um, all boomerang monkeys, how much XP we get, right? Should be all right. All right this guy's going to be red hot rings. Oh, we need boomerang experience to unlock the Paragon unit Glaive Dominus. Um, I think I have a strategy that will work for Blunarius, but it requires getting two Paragon units down. So, we're just waiting on that. Call it a warm-up. Boomerang Monkey does not see camo, but in easy there's no sketchy camo ways. We will see a couple camo things, but not enough to do this much health. No, uh, no leaded camo wave on 53 or anything like that. Oh, hey, yeah, hero here. I don't know if hero's even worth it. I'll put Benji down next time, but this time shouldn't be required. So good. What is that? So good. There are just about 300,000, so I'm going to do only Boomerang Monkey for this entire round, and then I'll go from there. I'm gonna guess we get around 50,000 experience for this, but I don't know. I've never stacked only one monkey type. Take a look here. Perma charge. Yo, what's good, Dale? Nice to see you, man. That doesn't matter at all. We can just go into into this bad boy. Doesn't really matter what we upgrade as long as we're spending money on boomerang monkeys. We're getting experience proportional to how much we spent. Yo, Darno, thanks for 30 months before we kick this level off. Thanks so much, man. How's the uh, how's the move going, Dale? You getting settled now? Yeah, Benjamin was probably a good idea. All good, though. This one will go faster throwing. Oh, there's that camo that's going to slip. There'll be a little more camo that slips too, but uh, these will take care of it. Get handled. Mm -mm. 
No, one, one gold shy of that one. Okay. I do think two of these, uh, four zero two boomerang monkeys can handle wave 40. I don't see why not. How much XP do y'all think we're going to get off of this? I bet if we went um, Etne and then all Boomerang Monkeys, we could handle all of the, uh, the camo wave problems. Yeah, there's some camo right there. Yo, glad to hear it, Dale. Glad to hear it. I guess more important question, Dale, is how is how is Charlo like in the new place? Actually, right here's what you want. Okay, so there is more camo than I anticipated. That's fine. I don't think it should get us here. I'm going to not put down camo purposely just to see. See what's up. Yep, there we go. 121. I don't think there's any more significant camo before 40. Okay, that is camo. Ooh, maybe. If there's camo on wave 39, we might not survive. Still get XP for all this, but we know we need to do something slightly different. Hey, Luxtra, thanks for that Prime sub. Appreciate you making it official. Thank you. Here we go, wave 40. We got him. We're good. All right. <laughs> of course, of course, Dale. There's always there's always one cat that has an issue. It makes sense. All right. So if we're doing an easy mode run with only boomerang monkeys, there we got not as much XP as I would have liked, but enough. So let's go ahead and do this on medium. Uh, we'll do standard. So this one goes to wave 60. This should probably be close to that 50k I was imagining. Uh, on this one, though, going to do it a little bit different. Just a little bit. Okay, let's pop these down. There we go. Um, Boomerang Monkey will be really good right about here, I think. This one, I'm going to get Benji down. I'm going to create a ball of boomerang monkeys, and I'm just going to put down a hut for camo vision, I think. This guy can get the camo leaks, though, or at least partially. Hey, hey Cractive, thanks for five months. Appreciate that continuation a lot, partner. Thank you. All right, Benji, you sit down here on your laptop. You make us some monkey bucks, dude. Yeah, that's right, King Kevin. That's in the powers. Uh, you know what would probably be a decent idea is getting some monkey knowledge for Boomerang Monkey 2. Uh, I have not gone down that route. I bet that'd probably be pretty effective um, on the Blue Narius fight. I'm going to look at that in my next uh, couple level ups. But yeah, the, uh, the end spikes is in the powers tree. Right down there towards the bottom. Only cost us seven monkey knowledge uh, investment to get it, so not too bad.
I initially didn't go down the uh, the powers tree at all either because I figured I'm not really going to be using many powers, but uh, it is very nice. It's especially nice for uh, not chimps mode, which doesn't have that. What's the other one? Um, it's great for half cash. Uh, also really good for impoppable because you get the little little buffer, huh? Let's go red hot rings on this guy. Honestly, I think we can put down the radar hut right now. I don't see why not. mega early to do this, but, you know. After we get the, the hut down with that, I can put down all boomerang monkeys from there. Even sell off this guy if I want to. Probably should have waited closer to round 34 to put this down. Because this is now leeching XP away from the boomerang monkeys. We've invested more in that than we have boomerang monkeys, in fact. Yo, what's good, NJ Oni? Nice to see you, dude. Once we have more glaives here, we're in a very good spot. I think I'm going to go another more glaives here, and then I'm going to put a Moab uh, knockback boomerang monkey right here. I think that should be us pretty close to prepared for wave 60. Hey, awesome, Ingeone. Finishing a project's always a good feel. I'm glad you're able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Looks good. Probably faster throwing for the Moab knockback. Yeah, Moab press only 2200. That's pretty cheap. Pretty clearly not getting Glaive Lord here. Just gonna keep throwing these down. Dude, these are great at getting pops, holy crap. Boomerang Monkey is definitely an underutilized monkey by me. It's probably one of the reasons they made uh, the first Paragon into uh, Boomerang Monkey, if I had to guess. Yeah, great bats. We only, we're only like uh, three fists through getting enough XP for the boomerang monkeys. And then I have a strat, which I believe will win on Elite Blunarius, but it requires me to get both paragons. 
I think I cracked the code on getting enough uh, money to get both Paragons last night. So, just trying to get this unlocked. Guess we'll level up one of these guys, why not? No problem dealing with fortified ceramic there. Turbocharge should be adequate for the Wave 60 balloon. Yeah, this probably has something to do with it, T-Mac. Placements are really important on Boomerang Monkey, at least before it's leveled. Cash all are we gonna get here? Enough for Glaive Lord seems unlikely, but maybe. Alright, 50 ones camo ceramic, gonna note that. Slave Lord's not happening. We're at 320,000 out of the 500 needed before this uh, medium medium map. I guess we're going to see where we land after that. I'm going to guess around 370,000. The event has one day or so left in it. A little over 24 hours, I think. Alright, here it comes. Oh, we're so good here. So good. Okay. Yo, 370. I was uh, spot on on that. Okay, cool. Gary is standard. Magic monkeys only. Probably not. Finish off primary only here. I'll just stick him down here again. It's not actually gaining any XP because we haven't spent any money on him. Get uh, get Benji down.
The uh, only Marmot. Thanks for 24 months, dude. Thank you. Great to see ya. Uh... Well, I'm debating now if I should even put down the hut. I'm debating. It's not till round 24 that we get any camos. Might even just be cheaper to make this guy into uh, a camo hitter. I don't know what's best. You keep watching, I'll keep streaming, dude. It's a deal. Uh, hello, Z. I did a run last night off stream, and I got halfway through tier 5, so we're really close. Uh, last time we did the Blue Narius uh, Elite event, I got to about halfway through tier 4, so we're on the, the last leg. I'm rather confident if I can get both of the Paragon units built inside the Elite Blunarius, we're going to get the win. So that's my next objective. And the attempt I had last night, I did not have Glaive Dominus unlocked, but I certainly had enough money to get both of the uh, both of the Paragon units uh, had I done it a little differently. Oh, right, this is uh, primary only. Okay, in that case, I'm going to go Enhanced Eyesight. I'm just going to go for Triple Shot. Let's do that. All right, baby kitty, you did that. Nice work. Good old cats. Got four of them. Four cats, though. See how this performs versus the Moab. I think we'll make this turbo charge. I think it's going to shred it too. Great job, triple shot monkey. Yo, heal. Thanks for 111 months of support. That is quite a couple. 111, one, one, he says. That is accurate. Thanks a lot, heals.
Oh, you get shredded till you're dead. -ied. Got it. All right, going home here. So, how much was that? Okay, I only need a hundred k more. So, like one hard mode and one medium mode, and we should have it. Anything we don't have regular hard mode done on here? I don't think so. Uh, I already got those. Thanks. Haven't done sanctuary yet. Uh huh. Oh yeah. try alternate balloons rounds here. I will definitely need to use um, a hut here, but otherwise should be fine. Alternate balloons rounds is no joke. Yep, camo led in this mode for sure. It's, uh, you see one rather early. Too early, though. Okay, Benji's down. Yep, already having some camo. That's fine, we got HP for this. Should probably make him into a uh, camo shot sooner. We're gonna have to do something for it. Trying to remember which round has lead. I think round 10 has lead here, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it's 24 that has camel lead. I don't remember my alternate balloons rounds very well. Yeah, there is the lead. We got that. Okay, after I grab this next upgrade, I think I'm going to put down the hut, and then it's all boomerang monkeys from there. I think this next upgrade will be very relevant, though. Twenty-four is a single camo lead. That sounds correct. Level up. Nice. We're doing it. Probably gonna go monkey business here, too. Get some discounts. Hell yeah.
All right, cool. We made the camo lead. I'm going to put down another boomerang monkey here. Looks good. Let's just get him to basically the same estimation. This time I'm going to go faster throwing on this one, though. All right, now more glaives. Now I have Camovision, I can sell this, which will give proportionally more XP to the boomerang monkeys. I wonder if there's a way to fit three uh, boomerang monkeys on this platform. I'm going to check that out next time. Hey there, Garbage Guy Gary. What's good, Gastov? Okay, there's more glaives. Alternate Bloons rounds might actually give more XP, just due to the, uh, the amount here. The way more Bloons on this mode. Alright, this guy's gonna go Moab Press, and we should make that upgrade, too. Not actually worried about killing the Moab, but the Wave 60 one. Uh, Broom, we're currently trying to unlock the Glaive Dominus upgrade for 500,000 XP. We're at 404,000, so uh, the more XP they get, the better. With Glaive Dominus, I think we can beat Tier 5 Bloon Areas. Pretty, pretty certain. Oh, that's right, it's reinforced here. I think right here should be pretty good for the, uh... This guy. Oh yeah, that's a very nice effect. I honestly feel like I'd probably save for Glaive Lord at this point. It's a bit of a stretch, but I don't think that much of a stretch. I'm gonna get one more of these guys down, then I'm gonna do exactly that. Let's go here. And... I'm gonna go red hot again. Alright, we saving. It's actually a really great location because it circles in the middle here. I don't see why we can't make uh, Glaive Lord. Yo, Bitter Husky, thanks so much for 50 months, dude. Half century. My man. Yo, Marlux here. Thanks for 36 months. That is three years. The subs today. My goodness. It's a lot more luxier. It's looking good.
Ah, 54 as a regular Moab. Let's see how this works. All right, well, we shredded that real easy. Camo ceramic, no probs. Uh, more or less, yes, Righteous. The tier 5 is permacharged, but it also gives uh, an ability. So it's like uh, you're permanently charged at the rate of this, and then you also can escalate past that. Pretty strong. This is going fine. How is this going to look? It's not that much more for Glaive Lord. I think the big question here is actually wave 63. It's the one I'm worried about. Nothing's really made it past the initial um, loop, though. So I probably should be feeling okay. this one to be the Glaive Lord? Seems right. A lot of reinforced Moab, dude. After we buy Glaive Lord, I'm 100% sure we're good for 80. Uh, Glaive Lord uh, does a ring around the character you'll see here in just a moment. It's going to be really hyper effective for this map because they got to go all the way around the loop. And these spinning glaives do an extraordinary amount of damage. It also makes the bouncing of the glaives um, even more efficient. It's just really strong upgrade. Probably one of the best overall tier 5 units as far as damage output. It doesn't have range, but you're talking raw damage when you're in range of the unit. is good. Well, that's cool. I didn't know it did a dot versus Moabs. Cool. Thanks for the heads up on that. Yeah, my full-time start day is January 5th, 2012. We're coming up on our 10-year mark here very quick.
Oh man, it's like a garbage disposal in there. It's quite the wave, but it stands no chance versus the Glaive Lord. We're definitely going to make it here. Um, but what are we looking like? Okay, nice. We're only 4k away, so maybe we get it here? It's going to be close. going to be close for sure. Oh, hey, what's up, Pinball Wiz? I'm going to be um, borrowing a little bit of your strategy for our Blunarius attempt. I was say, watching your attempt was very helpful. I didn't see your victory, but I saw some of your preliminary attempts. I guess just double reinforce ZOMG. Okay, what are we at right now? Okay, we're over 500,000. Awesome. We got there. Gif Glaive Dominus. Wonderful. Blunarius time. Alright, let's spend our monkey knowledge first, though. Uh, let's go to primary here. We got boomerang monkey stuff. Base cost of boomerang throw reduced by 50. Boomerang ricochet up to 80 times. Holy guacamole. Oh, Moab Mauler does more per hit. Moab push 30%. Okay. These are all good. I'm going to just assign this here. We want it all eventually. All right, Elite Blunarius, here we go. All right. Uh, Dark Monkey goes right here. Here we go. Here we go. So on the attempt I did off stream last night, I had more than enough Econ to buy the second um, Paragon. I just didn't have it unlocked. Yeah, I should not have found. There's a couple of modes that do not use monkey knowledge, but yes, it does apply on all modes, including this one. One time I got five merchantmen in here, but uh, I've been not been able to repeat that. I'm going to put a uh, boomerang monkey right here to start, Hydrodo. Um, and then the other one's probably up here. We'll have a primary village. Yes, rocks do prevent you from placing water towers, correct. 
Yo, Gunoff, thanks for three wonderful months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thanks a lot. So the basic of this strategy is we're going to fill as much of the map up with merchantmen as we can. Uh, around 28, we're going to get hot shot, grape shot, and then I'm going to do a bunch of central marketplaces to boost the economy of the merchantmen uh, to the point where we end up getting about 30, 40,000 per round uh, at the end. <laughs> it's a long ways away from right now because we don't have our first merchantman upgraded, but it'll happen. Okay, there's that. Yeah, it's pretty tr tricky, uh, Kieran. I agree. I think the biggest thing I've learned here on Blunarius is you can really focus on almost exclusively income until Blunarius appears, at least on the first couple rounds, which is usually to your benefit. Round 18, we got 10 rounds till the first lead shows up. When the first lead shows up, we just had to buy Hot Shot Grape Shot and, uh, oh, really? Lock him out of there, huh? There might be room for two in here. We'll be able to afford Hot Shot Grape Shot just off of the merchantman income that's available, so we can spend up to the point of round 28. This is it. No, that's probably not it right there. Let's put this guy as far down as possible. Maybe there will be room in the middle. Uh, Q knows this. I'm 100% sure I can beat it with the strat based on what I did last night. 100%. Oh, I didn't buy this guy into Merchantman. That was a mistake. Can I place this here? Doesn't matter. Let's place this down first. Actually, is there a spot in here? There's no spot in there. Fine. I concede. All right, so we're going to get to Merchant Man here, and then the income from these five is enough to buy Grape Shot, which we're going to buy on this one. Keep down this train right here.
Yo, Amethyst, thanks for almost 70 months of continuous support. Really appreciate that. Thank you, dude. Okay, so that is all the places we can fit water units. We got one, two, six, seven, eight merchantmen. Would have, would have preferred nine, but that's not happening for me right now. All right. Um, I'm going to put hut down right here. That's a nice placement right there. Okay. I don't remember exactly what I did, but I'm pretty confident I got this. Okay, here we go. Let's put that here for right now. I can get one more of these down before I, uh... Oh, I can't place that anymore. Fine. That's fine. We can still get four here. Alright, so I misplaced this, uh, this hut just a little bit, and that's alright. It'll be fine. Can I get one more down? Let's give it a shot. I may get burned on this. May not, though. It doesn't, P-Knuckle. I understand why you feel that way, though. Alright, boss appears in one, so we got a lot of work to do. A lot of work. I may have gone uh, too far into Econ here. Let's go ahead and do this, though. If it gets us killed, we'll just do it again. This start is exactly what I want, though. Uh, the exact type of start I want, rather. Okay, so I need this hut here. Uh, this hut is going to be... Okay, here comes Blunarius. Primary mentoring, and then we're going to go over here. Put this down right there. Uh, we're going to grab faster shooting overdrive. Okay, then I'm going to put an alchemist monkey down over here. I actually only want him hitting the attack right now, so we'll put him up here for the moment. We're gonna get to Berserker Brew here. And faster throwing. Alright, that's step two. Uh, step three is gonna be putting a Glaive Lord right here. Well, not Glaive Lord yet. Soon enough. I think right about there. He's gonna go into more Glaives. Red Hot Ranks. Alright, now we're going to get Ninja Monkey down, and Ninja Monkey can do the deeps for us. Right there. Okay, Sticky Bomb. So I believe this will hold. I'm going to grab uh, just a couple more Grape Shot Hot Shot on the inner boats. And then we're going into economy. Big time. 
Okay. So, are we going to get through this? Just say yes. Okay, we're good. Now we're central marketing. Okay, I was a little close. We made it, though. Central market increases the monetary gain of all merchantmen by 10%. These can stack on top of each other. Okay, there's that. Yes, indeed, it does stack unlimited. That's correct, King Kevin. Okay, there's that. Okay, there you have it. Blue Narius down. We are going to need more after the boss appears, but not yet. Okay, there's 15,000 for that. We're still got two rounds left. I have seven central markets down. Not bad. Can I fit one more in here? Not quite in the range, huh? It will be if I go increased range. Okay, with boss appearing in one, um, I definitely probably shouldn't upgrade this, but I'm going to. Uh, first thing we're going to grab here is Tax Zone. Okay, tax Zone's in. Why is there no fit in here? There should be. I think Glaive Lord is what I'm going to grab. Probably could have got some Econ down here too, but, you know, this is where we're at. So one thing I'm sure of is that our economy is looking uh, quite nice. 
It's definitely where we want it to be, in a comparable spot. actually be a pretty nice upgrade right now is the favored trades to increase merchant man damage. To also increase the economy of merchantmen, which is then percentage boosted here. Seems like a good upgrade. that. Okay. I throw out pause here. Putting down one more mark central market, because that'll be a hundred percent increase, which I believe is maximum. Okay, there's that. Um, now it's time for um, let's go juggernaut right here. Oh, hey, thank you on that. Appreciate it. Actually, you know what would be an even better DPS upgrade right now? Would be um, this primary expertise. Okay. Now Juggernaut. Okay, there's that. And now I should be able to get a primary monkey, yep, crossbow master right here. But I'm a strong. Good. Okay, looks to me like we're making it. Second crossbow master right here that I'm done buying for right now. Keep one on first, one on strong. All right, yeah, it looks to me like we're gonna make it. Master bomber would also be really good. I definitely want to get that before the next time we go in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm going to put down one more central marketplace because I'm going to go into Monkey Wall Street next. All right, this guy needs upgraded too. Well, it's a very good spot to finish Lunarius towards the end of the track. That means we managed our um, our money well.
All right, everything's good to go. Um, let's go ahead and get Moab Domination next, I guess. We can start going into Glaive Dominus right now if we want. All right, let's go ahead and go here. I'm gonna go and throw down TechBot here too. Uh, TechBot can live by Benji. Hmm. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this down here. I'm gonna go into Plasma Monkey Fan Club, very expensive. But now at 350k, we can get Apex Plasma Master, which I think this is the one we want. Yes, Permabrew is very good. I think I make 350k here, though. Let's get this guy up to stronger stimulant, huh? Could just upgrade him and build a Chinook to uh, bring the other units, or bring him over here and start buffing, though. Okay, let's do this before Glaive Dominus. Okay, now I'm going to put down uh, this here. This is going to be Chinook Transport. Let's just lock him in place here. Yes, Master Bomber Ninja would be really good here, but I think this is just as good. I think our DPS is actually fine right now. Not looking bad. he in range of the brew? He's not. Wow. wonder if I can fit a hut in here to increase his range right now. Or did I block my hut with him? I blocked the hut with him. Okay. Oh, he's got to get moved again because Glaive Lord doesn't have the buff. Hoping I make 350k here. That's the, that's the hope. Maybe I can't do it yet. Mm. Now we're going to make this. Now which uh which one do I want? Probably this one that's in range of the tower is where we want the Aplex. Apex Plasma Master. Might lose a track of Blunarius a little bit, but I think it'll be okay. As you can see here, even if we lose this one, we're on a good track, right? Because we're not we're not doing bad here. We're definitely gonna make it though. At least the money, I don't know if we're gonna make defeating Blunarius, but uh, it's gonna be close. Oh, they gave health. Interesting.
All right, here we go. Paragon. There we go. Look at that health get shredded. All right, we're going to slow down here for a second. Let's get this hut down now. Okay, I also need to move this alchemist over here, at least temporarily. Oh, he's not on strong, thank you. This could still be really close, like, depending on what pops out here. Okay. Boss appears in seven. Okay, Moab Domination. I'm gonna put down the third boomerang monkey over here somewhere now. Maybe just right here, actually. That'll work. Now, he's not in the primary range, which is tough. I think that's just how it has to be, though. Oh, he fits in the center. Okay, cool. This is going to be the tier 5. Or the Paragon, rather. Okay, we got Perma Charge. Let's go Improved Rings. Glaives. It's the range on this guy. Same as the Crossbow Master. Interesting. I still think this is a very good location. And now we're saving up the 400,000 to get Glaive Dominus. We'll have to make some more decisions after that, but it's a start. Master Bomber for sure. Now, I definitely could have gone even heavier into economy. Like, right now I could build uh, the banana factory thing the hundred thousand cost uh, top farm that'd be pretty easy to pull off in fact if i clustered my banana farms properly which i did not hear we probably could get a uh a grouping of banana farms too definitely possible Helicopter's not doing anything right now because I have him locked in one place, Blackmail. He's just there for transport reasons. Alright, I'm going to put down five druids over here and then I'm going to get them buffed. Six, actually. Is there a fit in here? Ooh, there is a fit in there, nice. Where's my alchemist monkey at? Right here. Much easier to move and buff when, uh... The in range? Sorry, much easier to move and buff when their, uh... Blunarius is not on the screen. Okay, it's only 200,000 more to buy Glaive Dominus. We're going to get it. Dude, the damage is already there. Holy crap. Okay, so if we don't win this Tier 5, we'll know that I could have gone way more into uh, economy here. Because I'm pretty sure if we just left it as is, this wave would finish. Oh, yeah, he's getting shredded by uh, this feller. Big time.
Okay, this one I'm gonna go Monkey Intelligence Bureau. Sure. Let's just go bigger radius too. Jungy drums. Okay, now we saving. Duty's only right here. Wow, he's getting wrecked. Tier is this paragon? It says tier 25. That's not like the best, but it's good enough. All right, there it is. Glaive Dominus. Do it. Do it. Alright, next up on my list here is these druids. Um, why are these showing 2x? Oh, because I'm not pop list on these, got it. I think Andruidic Reach probably best on the Superstorm. Okay, only level 7 on this guy. is still very nice, though. It's based on the amount of pops that your uh, units got. And our Boomerang Monkey's rather far back. Maybe next time, if there is a next time, I'll put the uh, Boomerang Monkey's up top a little bit closer. Okay, Master Bomber now. Okay, we're not out of the woods yet. Tier 5 has 40 million HP. Okay, 40 million. It's a couple. Call to Arms is good. Actually seems really amazing. Yes, 40 million is a lot of HP. That's very true. Alright, so now what I want to do is start getting um, things that debuff the boss. We want tier 5 sniper. Get him buffed to this tier 5. Strong. And then I also want to get Embrittlement uh, Monkey. And I've left this ring clear for a reason. I'm going to move the monkey inside the ring to follow Blunarius with the Chinook. Alright, 
We're gonna put this monkey right here to start. Wow, oh, the range on that's awesome. All right, here we go. Uh, we want this one right here. Maybe we have a larger radius. Actually, it's applying a debuff, so. Good question. Can we move Paragon units? Looks like no. Cannot redeploy this tower. All right, we got super brittle. Uh, where can I fit in a glue monkey here? Got to be like a little spot somewhere, right? Honestly, for a Moab glue, that wouldn't be bad. Probably just right here, though, is best. We will lose the sticky down here, though. Maybe we want it over here. Yeah, I'll move the ice monkey along the edge. This will be a good spot. All right, so this one we're going to go like this, which does slow the boss down just a little bit. Not a lot. Put Ice Monkey here eventually. Oh, I saw a spot there. I did. Saw it. Okay, Mad is next. One last move here. Put him right here. I don't actually want him there. Right here. Not looking bad. I mean, he's not even close to the uh, the high damage amount yet. All right, this guy is going to be over here. Good, he is buffed.
Beastie Monkey. Gotta move this monkey here. What a chunky monkey. I was like, what do I even put down right now? Let's just do like a Sky Shredder or something. Can I fit it down here? No. Patchy Dart Ship. There's the damage. Alright, where is the next spot? I'm gonna put this icy monkey. Where's he at? Right here? He's right here. Right there. Did I leave a spot in here? I did not. Monkey Ace. Okay. The other Paragon's back on, too. We're almost halfway through the HP. It's not bad. This middle portion is definitely way better damage than the outside. Monkey again. Not bad.
Looks like he's going to be about three quarters down when we're done with this attempt. And we could have gone way more into economy, so I think the next attempt we got it for sure. Okay, let's move this uh, Ice Monkey one more time. Ice Monkey is important because the Invertilent makes uh, the damage a lot higher. Yeah, I agree an overclocking engineer is probably something we want to include in this composition. I am, I'm right there with you. That'd be really good to get. I don't think you can overclock paragons, but some of the other units overclock really nicely. We're going to take a look at monkeys after this and see what, what we want to build. Looks like the bads are making it through. Okay, cool. That was a very good attempt. We got him below half, and uh, that was not really optimized at all. Let's go back to monkeys here. We were able to get both paragons down rather easily. Uh, I do think that maybe a Spirit of the Forest could be really good. Uh, what else? Long-term Spikes could be all right. You know, I bet a Engineer Monkey Balloon Trap up front would make the other units do more damage to the boss. Yep, we could also try delaying Paragons to the other tier. That's a good idea. Uh, carpet of spikes, yep. Be very nice. And carpet of spikes go. I did not have any recursive cluster in there. This is also a very nice ability. Uh, Would have gone well with that top path primary village. Wonder how this works. Unstable Concoction could be interesting because when the... When Blunarius pops out the Moabs, we coat them Unstable Concoction. That would cause explosion damage. That's an idea. Ring of Fire or Inferno Ring wouldn't be bad either. Super Maelstroms be pretty consistent damage. Oh, you know what would be a really good idea? Uh, dropping one of the merchantmen in the middle to build carrier flagship and then putting um, the boomerang paragon on top of the middle of the flagship. It's an idea. Uh, Legend of the Night Super Monkey uh, would be okay. All right, I'm going to take a very short break here. It's going to chill out for a moment, and then we'll take on another attempt. I think we got it in the next couple, because uh, that one was not optimized at all. I had misplaced my uh, marketplaces as well. So we can go way further into economy on that and get even more stuff. Be back in just a moment.
All right, we're back. Let's do it again. So I think one thing I can get down early enough would be very good would be overclock engineer, because if we can start overclocking our units, they get overclocked up to 60%, which is not a small amount. I also, on this attempt, would like to get boomerang monkeys placed over here sooner, so we're getting uh, more pops on them so we'd have a higher level paragon. We only had level 7 paragon um, on the boomerang monkey. We need higher than that. Put this down here this time so I can create an area for the huts. Start down here. When I started down here, this is how I got the uh, the five in the in this area. Well, I done goofed. Uh, Stanner, thanks for an awesome year. Sorry for missing you, dude. And Master Cthulhu, thanks for 41 months. Well, I appreciate everybody's suggestions. I already know what I want to do, so thank you. You're more than welcome to discuss the uh, mechanics of all of the towers and stuff or discuss strategies, but I am not so much at this point looking for step-by-step -step directions. Thank you. Yeah, attack zone overclock would be one of our first targets. The mad would be very good as well. We just gotta generate enough cash to make it work. Wonder how much damage the bloom incineration mortar does. Get us to twenty-two ninety-seven. Yep. Howdy, I had to clear my throat there. I think I'm actually going to fit five in this area this time. I got a good feeling about it. Oh, it's looking pretty good, actually. Yeah, I think we got this. So starting from the bottom is the way to do it.
I think 005 Alchemist could have some good things about it. If you think if you're removing balloons from spawning up here, that's more targeting power on the boss. Kind of. Can we fit it? Just say yes. Just say it fits in there. All right. No fit this time. It's okay. even further ahead this time. That's nice. This guy's gonna get hot shots. Start by going over here. Well, no. I'll be able to get five in here. Probably just gonna have to go bigger radius, what it boils down to. Okay, monkey business. That's nice. We can get three here, no problem. Not perfect, but still good. Okay, we got four down. Can I get five down before the boss and still maybe make it? Maybe. Right, we had plenty of time on round one last time. Let's try to get a fifth, uh, a fifth one down here. Maybe even six in the radius of this? That'd be sick. Here's my dude. Alright, we saving. We gotta get hut down first here. Oh, I don't have even a boomerang monkey down right now. That's fair. Okay, let's go here.
Oh wait, hold on. There's that. So I'm gonna try to wait here for just a second. Nice, I can get six in here, that's beautiful. Okay, Ninja Monkey's down next. This first. Don't wanna be in buffing range. Getting six down here is awesome. Okay, now his health's gonna start dropping pretty radically, and I think we're just fine here. Alright, let's get these upgraded before we make our next cluster. I think going to Central Market is best policy currently. Might be an argument for building another cluster of five there, but 10% more income on these every round is a lot. Ooh, did we get hit there? We did. Okay. Let's just go ahead and upgrade him to stronger stimulant here. That'll be it. What a good baby kitty. Oh my goodness, that leak. Hold on, hold on. Hold up. So actually losing HP here is very good as long as we don't die. That means that we really maximize the amount of income we're getting. Yeah, income's like a snowball rolling downhill, so I want to get every the income sorted out before anything else. Alright, we're looking pretty good right now. Yo, dude, Junior, thanks for 98 months. All good on my end, dude. Hope you're having a nice one, too. And Quick Draw McCrow, thanks for four awesome months. Balloons everywhere, he says. It's true. So I think the reason we slipped there is I didn't get any other hot shots uh, going on. Which I'm going to fix here in a second.
I am going to need uh, this too eventually. Uh, I'm going to grab it now, actually. All right, now let's check this out over here. The lowest I can put this. It's kind of checking for placement here, like what I can do. Okay, I can go all the way up here. No fit? What? Why isn't it fit, though? all good. Alright, here comes Blunarius. We're now saving for Tax Zone. Actually, you know what? Let's do one more here. It's not in the range of the Tax Zone yet. Okay, I actually need to go here. Then Glaive Lord. Let's do it. You gonna pop yet? Nah, we're good. Let's see what this does on the pop out. Do I need to go Glaive Lord yet? No, I don't. the fourth hut. There it is. Okay. Okay, gonna get a crossbow master down now, right her. This is looking not too bad. I see it in range there? Awesome, man. It's gonna be cutting it close, but he's in the tax zone range now, which is really where my damage happens. I'll try to get Monkey Wall Street this round before he rounds the corner here. Okay, looking good. Looking good. Okay, awesome. Actually, we should go straight into Trade Empire now. Okay, we're set here, and we also let Blunarius get very late in, which is good.
guy's gonna go juggernaut now. Did I get all of the merchantmen upgraded? I did. Still need hot shots on quite a few. I'm gonna worry about that in a second, though. Okay, juggernaut's out. Quick shots. I'm gonna put down another boomerang monkey right here. Right here? Maybe up here. Uh, I think this will kind of actually be the sweet spot for the Glaive Dominus, though. Being in range of this hut would be really nice. This is the spot for Glaive Dominus. All right, before we do anything else, we do have time here, I think. Um, where can I get a cluster of these down? Okay, there's that. One. Two. Three. Four in here. Maybe room for five. There might be. Uh, looking, looking grim though. Okay, no room for five. That's fine. I think it's safe to say our income is significantly better than it was last time. Yeah, I'd really appreciate it if you guys would chill on pointing out all the small optimizations. Thanks. Already juggling quite a bit already. Okay, let's put this down here. Okay, damage looks like it might be a problem here. Is this where we went, um... Paragon last time? I feel like it is. It is. Okay, we do have Radar Scanner here. I'm gonna go ahead and put down a hut right here just for my own, uh... Sanity. Let's go ahead and get jungle drums there. Yeah, we did have Moab Assassin Missile, you're right. That was something that was in this comp. I wonder if I'm going to make it with a Paragon. Like, I bet I could make, um... Boomerang Monkey Paragon, but it'd be a little bit late. We don't have that many, that many pops on these. All right, well, I'm going to try this out. Should make 350k by the time it's important. I think we went Permabrew on the next one, actually. 
We're gonna find out here soon if we make enough money with this comp to get Paragon now. I think we do. Also, definitely this guy is gonna be the Paragon. That's a really good location. What if I dropped Overclock Engineer right now? Hold on, I'm gonna try to get this going. This might get me killed, but... I'm here. Could even start overclocking my economy, though I think that's a bit of a misnomer at this point. Like, it's about what units we place where, I think, more than anything else. Lost my cursor, there it is. We're about halfway to the point where we can get... This Paragon. I think we're gonna barely win this, and I mean barely. So if this doesn't work, I'll just go Paragon before I go uh, the Overclock Monkey. Be pretty chill. Oh, that bat is um a problem, huh? Here we go. You do it. You do it. You do it. The economy was uh, perfecto. Just got to get the uh, the order down. All right, we're on the precipice of defeating this here. Nothing to be sad about. So I think the biggest part of that is I, able, I was able to get the quad banana farm plus the banana factory down which was way more uh money than last time all right guys i'm gonna stand up stretch real quick uh use the restroom also gonna grab a very quick snack here my breakfast in fact we'll be back about five minutes for another attempt please do enjoy any kitties that may or may not appear um on the screen. We'll be back in just a few minutes to do it again.
all righty we have returned thanks for your patience during that brief intermission let's go back into elite blunarius here it is time all right well we got our start pretty sorted out i was pretty happy with that last run we were just a little bit behind on deeps so i need to get paragon unit before i got Uh, I wonder if Paragon is affected by the primary village question. Yeah, we had good farms last time. I agree. Start down here. Debating what I want to do a little bit differently there. You know what could be really nice? Uh, an Energizer sub. The problem is dropping an income for it. I don't know about that. Oh, he's not leveled up yet. Getting ahead of myself. have it after this next round. The Rebeginning. You know, one thing I did not have upgraded on that previous one was I did not upgrade my uh, Merchantmen to Hotshot Grape Shot. I put Energizer up here, or right here, actually, so it covers the exit. But we want to put the Merchant Man down first. We can sell the Merchant Man to place the Energizer later on. Right now, income is king. Yeah, more or less, Sir Morak. That'd be one way to look at it. Sure. Oh, yeah, Engineer Monkey up here. We uh, didn't do that. Hmm, what would be the time to place that? Maybe placing that before the farms could make some sense. Got a few ideas here, that's for sure. We know Engineer Monkey Tier 5 is going to make our money back for sure. Make our money back and a lot, in fact. Almost looks like we're going to get the fiber in here. We'll see. Oh, 
There it is. Fiverr. Okay, I placed him too soon, but oh well. I don't think that actually makes a functional difference on getting this placement. Nice. Well, five boats in the middle section feels nice. How did I do that? Started here lower than I thought. and So this one needs to be as low as possible, I guess is what it is. Very nice, though. Happy to see it. This might end up with us only getting three marketplaces. We'll see, though. We'll see. Okay, round 28 is next, so we're going to need a uh, Grape Shot Hot Shot. Can I fit a sub in here as well? That's a good question. Probably not, but what if? saw it in there. <laughs> Doing my very best to be patient right now. Okay, let's go right uh, here. Has to go bigger radius. Great. Looks like we're gonna get four down here at least. Really? Leakage there, huh? Gonna be cutting it close, I can tell you that right now. Okay, there's that. Slow this down. Put this right here.
Okay, there's that. Next is you. I'm just going to put this a little further in. I don't know if that's a good idea, but it's my idea. We got hot ranks, so we should be set now. On this, I wonder if it's better to go into the upgraded farms now, or if later is actually better. Okay, no fit down here. Fair enough. Anyways, here we are. Okay, cool. We were able to fit six of these in again. That's very nice. Alright, now we're going to get Ninja down. Right here outside the buff radius. Yo, Ken, 9128. Thanks for 29 months in that tier 2 sub. Thank you. There we go. Okay. Mm, not quite. Not quite. Okay, so placing this last marketplace was the difference. Still good. Maybe the difference there was actually the... Um, got words. Uh, maybe the difference was the fifth merchant man we were able to place. start. Oh, I didn't have overdrive there? Thank you, Flubbo. That would definitely be the difference then. Thanks. Felt like something was missing. That was it. Good catch. My understanding, Strelik, is if you had the monkey knowledge for valuable bananas, that the middle pass generates 16 more gold per round, which is not a large amount of gold. Seagoing Manatee, thanks for 54 months. Fell Bar 78, thanks for 49 2. Legends today. upgrade. 
Yo, HexQC, thanks for 67 months. Thank you. Yo, Pyromaniac, thanks for two months. Much appreciation. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna slow it down after this round. After this round. Uh, yeah, subs never have worked with sniper vision. You have to have the radius of the monkey for the sub tower. So that's how much radius the sniper gives, that little gray bubble. No more. Hell yeah. Okay, we cracked the code on how to get five merchantmen in here. That's awesome. Get cracked, code. Very happy about that. I'll be the hot shots. Okay, I think I'm gonna put a uh, bluntonium reactor slash energizer in this pool. So let's just go over here. I know the income was plenty good enough with uh, eight merchantmen. It was fine last time. I don't think 9 will be that much of a difference, and if we can get the Energizer upgrade later on, that'd be really nice for cooldowns. I also know 2 fit in here for sure. Okay, so far looking pretty good. I 
I bet getting the marketplaces placed before valuable bananas might be a little better. Not quite in the, the range, huh? Fine, I'll do it. Guess if I'm going to do this, going long light bananas first is probably better. I don't know. Always room for improvement. Largest room in the world, I say. How do you all feel about the math on that? Building um, into valuable bananas first? Or just rushing marketplace. The more I think about it, rushing marketplace sounds better. Okay, I'm gonna try to get another one down here. Look, we'll kill this last time. So let's do it again. the upgrade I didn't get last time. Alright. Boomerang monkey right her. Okay, we're now ready for a ninja monkey. Yeah, it makes sense, Kinos. It makes sense. Oh, I need more glaives. Holy crap, almost missed another upgrade. Okay, that's looking good. Okay, there's that. So now the big question is, are we making it off of this? I think we are. Uh, I am going to go ahead and grab Grape Shot, Hot Shot on a couple more of these. Okay. And now we're going into marketplaces. Sticky Bomb applies a Sticky Bomb to Blunarius and other um, Moab-style units, which is a massive explosion and AoE. It is quite good. Alright, we're good now. Yeah, Recursive Bomber is real nice. I'm not going to disagree with that. Okay, okay. 
Was not expecting slippage there. All right, we've got to put down one more unit then. So the difference there was I was able to get the economy down earlier, but with that, Blunarius was further along in the track. What I'm going to grab is Bluntonium Reactor, so we're going to get that one placed. No, it definitely wasn't camo because all of the merchantmen, uh, all of the merchantmen have camo vision. It's interesting that worked last time, but didn't work this time. Obviously, something was at least slightly different about it. I had overdrive though. Yeah, at each tier in Blunarius' health bar, he spawns a massive wave of balloon ads. One thing that was different is my boomerang monkey was uh, in a different placement than I had him the previous couple times. Uh, it does ceramic and sometimes camo, and the higher tier Blunarius is spawn, the more difficult the waves are. I would compare the first couple waves of Adzi does is closer to wave 63. Point being, it's a lot. Merchant Man up here definitely performs better on regular balloon rounds to start. I worry, though, we're not going to get five if I don't start from the bottom, because that hasn't happened yet. Okay, there's that. trying to figure out how I want to say this. Um, we've already made it almost all the way through tier 5 with the setup, so not looking for optimization suggestions for the build. If you want to discuss what towers you think could work good, or if you want to um, discuss how the towers work together, or placements that you think would be good, it'd be fine. But 
I'm not changing the build right now because I already know this works and can beat tier 5. I just had to put down different units a little bit faster. No fifth merchant man? Oh, man. Oh, there it is. Okay, we got five down. Beautiful. That's going to be the hot shot. This is going to be the spot for our Bluntarium reactor. Cool. Very glad we got that down. Slow this down real quick. Uh, we're going to get the sub in much later, but yes, we are going to get the sub in this round. That's the goal. So we're going to go four marketplaces and then go sub. My current plan. This has to fit. Saw it. Uh, there it is. Before this round's over, it'd be preferable. Okay, now we go here. I think getting marketplaces down first. I'm going to do this just a little bit different. It's going to be better. I'm going to go all marketplace, then all valuable banana. Let's place this down here. Cannot grab the uh, upgrade to range right now as well. Not yet, anyways. Okay. Let's grab valuable banana upgrade. Gonna slow down the map right now, too. Boss appears in one. Oh, it's not quite there? Okay. Alright, we got five marketplaces down. That's good. Now we're gonna do... Village... Here. that. Alchemist is next up here. Ok, 
Okay, there's that. It's down. We're going to go boomerang monkey next, right here. I'm going to put him up in the corner again this time. It's a better protection for the end of the round. A lot of rings. Uh, then we're going to go... Should just put this down first, then I'll put the ninja down. So on this one, I'm going to go for... Lunarium Reactor. This will be Energizer later on. Should have a very uh, substantial effect on our clear ability for this round. Meaning we're in the clear after this. Oh, snap. Okay, we still got there. Good. Okay, if we got there without the uh, the bomber, we should be okay. Okay, there's Sticky Bomb. Does this fit? Can I fit this in here? Darn, we're not getting... Oh, oh, I saw, it, I saw it. There it is. Okay, cool. We did get six this time. Very nice. Okay, we're, we're clear this time around. Plantarium's also going to strip camo off of these, so we could maybe even go monkey business here. Wouldn't be bad. No, we still got to worry about the camo that comes off of Bluntarius, so we're going to wait on that. Man, I haven't used, been using any mages. I should get some mages down. I'm surprised by that. What was the difference between our first attempt and that? I felt like we had even more power. Interesting. Okay, we did not have Grape Shot, Hot Shot. That is what the difference is. I started going Grape Shot, Hot Shot um, after that. Okay. Let's do it again. Get a tax zone on this at the start of phase two. Could also just throw down another boomerang monkey. That might not be a bad idea. Just start getting that uh, Paragon bonus built up.
one. What a good kitty. Pretty confident I know what I want to do now. I want to get f at least four uh, grape shot, hot shot in the middle. And I might even put down a second uh, boomerang monkey. I don't know if I go glaive lord again or try to go with the other ones. Probably go one of the others. Uh, probably the bionic arm monkey. Just because he has good clear ability down here. I should probably be pretty sick right here shooting in a loop around this. We've already had the attempt today that could have beat it. I just got to get back to that moment. That's as tucked as it's going to get. Not convinced. Oh, we do have it, though. Awesome. All right, we're consistently getting five merchantmen in there. Actually, had a lot of room to go in there. Wow. be grape shot hot shot This time we're going to get down nine merchantmen. I'm going to forego the, uh... Yeah, going to forego the sub here. Buy something else that's better right now. Alright, 
What was the problem with this placement last time? Wasn't quite right. Grab it on this or no? Okay, I'm waiting. Okay. Darn, not quite. Okay, let's go down here then. Kind of feeling to me like putting down the, uh... Long Life Bananas first made a lot of sense. Alright, we'll see how this plays out. I'm gonna grab these upgrades first. I think I should have bought these as we were going along. Okay. But time. Uh, hut, where are you, where are you at? I just upgraded the wrong thing. That's okay. We'll still make it, maybe. Okay, alchemist up here. All right, boomerang monkey right here. I'm gonna do a second boomerang monkey right here, and this guy is gonna be uh, the bionic boomerang. We'll just go improved rings. Blades. Okay, gonna grab a couple of these now. Okay, almost didn't make it. Yikes. Okay, I'm gonna grab Berserker Brew. I think that will sort it out. I think we're in the clear now. It's definitely scary, but we want to have a razor-thin margin here. Okay, now we're going this guy. marketplace from here. I look pretty good.
Yep, that's good. It is, Team Egg. Grape Shot's really nice. Really nice ability. It's a little closer than I would have liked, but it's still manageable. Bear. I'm not sure what's technically different between what I was doing on the first one and the last one. It's interesting. I mean, it was really close. Really close. Like extremely close. It's exactly where you want it to be. Maybe we upgrade the first two uh, marketplaces and then put down. Glue with relentless glue would definitely do the trick. I think that's what I'm going to do is glue monkey. Okay. Once again, guys, we've already reached more than halfway through Tier 5 with this strategy. We just have to get through the initial hurdle. Glue also technically slows uh, balloon areas, which is nice. Could even go for, like, a liquefier on the glue gunner. Should probably just stop trying to min-max as much on the marketplaces. Just put down a few more units because we know we're going to reach a uh, critical mass with income. Looking good. Very good placement. 
Yo, Bort, thank you so much for that five gift sub package, dude. Really appreciate it. Hope you're having an amazing afternoon. Always a pleasure to see you in the channel. Thanks for everything, man. Looking good. This one up as high as we can. That's the one right there. I'm gonna slow this down real quick. Lots of space now. We got this all kinds of sorted for five merchantmen in the middle every time. But four times in a row now. Awesome. goofed. Oh, I goofed big time. Okay, let's sell this real quick. Whoopsie doozle. Not all bad, but not optimal, that's for sure. Gotta buy that as soon as round 28 begins. Put this here now. I'm probably gonna sell it for Energizer later, but I still think getting this down, if we get this down about 15 rounds or so, the merchant man has paid for itself and then some. Actually, probably sooner than that with the marketplace strat we're doing. Let's see if we can get this place properly this time. This time I'm also going to go into Valuable Bananas first, before I place the next Marketplace. Pays for the upgrade just on that one tier right there. All 
All right, last one for now. You get one more down here, though. But we're going to fit six this time, which is great. Okay, now we're going to be placing units. First things first, we're going for hut up here with jungle drums, primary knowledge. Okay, we're going here. Overdrive, please. An alchemist monkey right here. Gotta have at least Berserker Brew down. Alright, now... Boomerang Monkey. Okay, this Boomerang Monkey... Gonna grab Stronger Stimulant. Gonna put down Glue Monkey now. Glue Monkey's gonna go right here. I'm going to put this down before Ninja. And we're going to go in this route here. Glue Soak. Not going to worry about Corrosive just yet. Okay, we're getting that down good. Okay, now Ninja Monkey. Right, her. Gonna go even safer here. I'm just gonna do this real fast. I'm gonna build the same monkey basically. Our income's gonna not be as good this time because I'm spending a lot more money on units, but at least we should not have leakage here. Yo, Ramsey the Great, thanks for 40 months, and Aka Blue Tea, thanks for 27. Heck yeah, dude. So I do believe we could have put down um, one or two central marketplaces before placing other units. I'm just would like to get past this first round this time. It's looking good. Look at all that glue. Glue's nice. All right, here's the moment of truth, this last wave pop. Good. Okay, we're clear. We definitely had more than we needed there. Good around, all around. Seems like a pertinent upgrade. Alright, so this is six central markets right now. Uh, we can max out at ten. Ten central markets for a hundred percent more merchant man uh, income.
What am I doing right now? Half right. Yeah, I missed one of those. Almost there. He's gonna upgrade it after this wave. Okay, attack zone's next. Attack zone, and then Glaive Lord. And then primary. Let me start placing some other units. Glaive Lord's gonna be big here. Okay, Glaive Lord's down. We're gonna grab uh, primary expertise next. Gonna do this right now. <laughs> Damage looking all right. Zone's doing the work. How does that not fit? How does that not fit? The hell? Did the merchantman take up that spot? Well, befuddled by that. All right, excuse me for just one sec. Oh, very optimal here as far as money goes. 
Gonna put down... I'm gonna sell this now. Can I fit another hut in here? I can. This is gonna be Monkey Wall Street. For Monkey Wall Street, I should probably put down some more um, primary monkeys to start building towards the Paragon units. Not at all concerned with the uh, the main here. Pretty pretty easy. Our regular waves we got covered. That's for sure. Okay, there's Monkey Wall Street. Now. Cutting it close here. This is exactly what we want. Okay, gonna worry about the uh, Banana Central after this next wave. It's now time to start placing units for uh, the next tier. Can he fit down here? Not quite. God, this Ninja Monkey's kind of misplaced. Might need to move him. Firing, cool. Attack zones down. Uh, super glue, not bad. Master bomber could be a decent upgrade here as well. Let's do uh, crossbow master in here. Still trying to figure out why he doesn't fit in this little area he did before. It's got to be because of the increased size of the boat. It has to be. Oh, there's a little sweet spot right here. Awesome. Gonna grab Permabrew. There we 
there it is. Gonna build a Chinook over here. Let's go here. It's fine. Well, damage is going a little better now. A little better. All right, let's toss down Sniper right in here. Okay, cool. There's a spot for him to fit. He's in the brew right there. Fine. That gives a debuff. Master Bomber next, and I think we're going to get through this phase then. Okay. Not looking bad. I'd like to save up buying the Paragon till next round. That'd be best. I'm not sure if we can afford that. Should be decent. Alright, I think to pull this off without buying a Paragon, I need to find the spot and do... Saw a spot in there. Fine, I can always move him. I'm gonna go embrittlement, super brittle, larger radius. This greatly increases the damage on the bad here. Hmm. This is going to be cutting it close, my man. Okay, let's go ahead and go here. Where's the alchemist at? Up here, okay. Mm. I kind of got to know from my own curiosity if it's going to work or not. Looks like it's going to. 
And it's very late for a bad to be, but... Could have done that sooner. The more pops I allow my units to get before upgrading to the Paragon, the higher amount or higher tier we get. I think we're all right. Okay, we got those down. That's good. All right, very good, very good. Okay. 200,000 on hand. Definitely time to start considering Paragons, uh, or... Uh, first, since we have time now, let's go ahead and put down uh, the Overcharge Engineer. It's a very expensive upgrade. I've got oversized nails here. But we can start overclocking units. Okay, I'm also going to sell off this Monkey Buccaneer to put down a new Monkey Buccaneer. Come on, where's the spot? Where's the spy sot? And we're gonna get carrier flagship. Okay. Carrier flagship's gonna host two units. First, it's gonna host the Glaive Dominus on this one. Mm, on this one, yeah, that's better coverage. I'm gonna have to sell off one of these to make it work, though. That's tough. Okay, sell this guy and then make him into the Glaive Dominus. I'm thinking about Glaive Dominus here would be pretty good too. This location's also pretty alright. Tough choices. You know, this would be really spectacular right now. Energizer. It's a very expensive upgrade. We have a little bit of time though, and this means that our overcharge is going to be on point faster. Getting down to the nitty gritty here. Uh, what what units have I placed so far that need upgrades now? Let's go ahead and move the alchemist, which is where right here, over here for right now. It's already looking good, so once we get this, it's going to be even better. Could also start overcharging, like, Wall Street and stuff. Maybe this guy.
Level 35. Hell yeah. That's the stuff right there. Lost my cursor. There it is. <laughs> Okay, some units I'd like to replace here would be uh, crossbow masters again. They're very strong. Jug was also putting in some work over here. The juggernaut right here would do some good work too. Well, let's put it up here. Level up. This guy on strong, he is. All right, there's eight overclock on the tack factory. Where's my alchemist right now? Down over in the left hand side, I think. Nine. There he is. So you can just making this guy Glaive Dominus. It's a very uh, good location for clearing uh, the later adds. This is probably better map coverage overall, though. I wonder if he gets a range increase, too. Probably does. I definitely want the Glaive Dominus to be uh, this one. Let's uh, let's ferry this embrittlement uh, monkey over here. I think we can put a hut here. Monkey Intelligence Bureau. All right, I gotta scoot this uh, Moab monkey over a little bit. Okay, that's ten on the tack factory now. Definitely a bit frightened here because the next boss has 40,000 HP, or 40 million, excuse me, so five times as much as this. This time I'm confident that our boomerang monkeys are going to be a higher paragon tier, though, which is going to be help. All right, who gets overcharged next? Uh, I want to overcharge mad, but that's not happening. I'm going to... Go for Master Bomber, I guess. We certainly have this round, no problem. Yo, Von Rothave, thanks for eight wonderful months. Glad you could be here to enjoy it. Sorry for not getting to you sooner there, partner.
All right, so anything over 400k we can spend. I just want to get uh, this set up for Glaive Dominus. Gonna let this madness finish out, and then we'll have a small respite to upgrade things. Looking good. We should have this. Okay, let's ferry this boomerang monkey over just a bit so we can get a hut down right here. Okay. All right, I'm gonna sell this guy and we're gonna make this into the Glaive Dominus. We are, however, gonna wait just a moment. I got 530,000 right now. What do I wanna put down? Um, it's too late for NG Monkey, I think. Let's get an Archmage going on. Archmage is good. Um, let's get... Let's get... This placed. Here? Here? I just want to put him in buff range right now. I can move him as uh, Dark Knight later. Okay, Legend of the Night will come later. Let's go Laser Blast. Also, buff the super monkey here. Let's Chinook the uh, ice monkey over here, because we're going to want him at the start of the next boss wave. Guess we're really not going to get any more pops, are we? Do it. Okay, after doing that, what level is it? 13? Okay, would have liked him to be a little bit higher, but still better than last time. I'm going to replace the boomerang monkeys we lost, especially Glaive Lord right here. Go faster throwing. I don't even know. Uh, let's do it on this guy, I guess. I'm gonna drop this sniper down just to buff the other sniper. It's a pretty cheap upgrade. Hundred and twenty thousand. Wow, that's a lot. Put a druid ball down here. I think there's enough room for another one in there. Maybe. Saw it. Come on, magic pixel. All right, I guess we're going to worry about that in a second.
Magic pixel me, please. Crap, I got nowhere to move this guy. Can't see. Gonna flop him back here for now. No, back here. Hold on. Sell this. Damage is looking okay right now. go for Legend of the Night next. Do I sell off my economy now? If so, what do I put down? There's so much money to spend. I know an easy unit to put down here. Where's my alchemist at? Do that for right now. Them over here for right now. Um, just like to be in range of the bubbly.
boy. You going strong? Going strong. You should have left in a little more spot in the middle. Where is my embrittlement monkey right now? That's it. Honestly, I think if the embrittlement monkey was on this the entire time, might have got it. Still reaching our best DPS area. Wouldn't say we're done yet. It's looking a little grim, though. I'll give it that. Where's Alchemist Monkey living? That's really late for bads, holy crap. Almost feels like something as dumb as filling all the empty spaces with uh, just Moab Maulers could be like the difference. Really nice. Three quarters down. Or maybe if our Glaive Dominus was the proper level, level 20, we could do it. Over three quarters. Hell yeah. I don't think it can. It'd be pretty cool if Dark Knight could uh, push us back to the start, though. Seems unlikely. Oh, I didn't realize this spike storm persisted like that. Okay. Very, very nice attempt.
Yeah, below 20% there. Let's take a look at our monkeys real quick. So I think a few ways to improve that particular strategy would be first getting um, more pops on boomerang monkeys to start. If we got more pops on boomerang monkeys to start, we could have a higher level glaive dominus, which would probably be about the difference in that damage. True Sun God's definitely a, an option for this fight. A lot of people have wanted that, right? I won't be doing that, though. I'm going to stick with this strategy. Oh, okay, Wiz. Okay, I got you. So we could have just made the Paragon with the other Tier 5 units there. Yeah, once again, I'm not going to be doing Sun God or Vengeful Sun God. I'm well aware that's a successful strategy. I do think getting down the uh, Engineer Overcharge Monkey as soon as possible may have been better, even better than possibly getting the banana farm early. This could be big, getting uh, bomb blitz. I also think if we had embrittlement on the boss the entire way through, like I was, if I was shinooking that across, that would have been at least half the damage we were missing. Getting uh, mad down there. Oh, balloon exclusion zone would be a very interesting inclusion for the middle of the map. It's a nice, nice tower. What other... Uh, damage boosts are there. We have the Sniper Cripple on that one. I had the Super Brittle. I had Super Brittle. I'm trying to think of other damage modifiers. Yep, we had the tier 5 buffing sniper. Already had that. Okay, glue storm increases damage taken. Good to know. Storm. Glued balloons take extra damage when glued. All right. Uh, does balloon incineration buff damage? Strips DDT camo. And this is a dot. It's a really heavy dot, actually. On Blitz. Okay. 
It's not so good. Balloon Crush, though, is quite nice. Didn't have uh, all but one cannon down there. Shinobi Tax is an interesting idea. Sabotage ability lasts 15 seconds during the sabotage. All balloons move at half speed. Well, does all balloons include balloon areas? Because this could be very nice. I think our biggest increase overall would have been getting a higher level Paragon. Yeah, Sabotage doesn't seem like it'd work on Blunarius. I agree. Nope. Nope. Hi, Daisy. Yeah, you love watching balloons, don't you? Because you're just a little kitty. Alright, I think I got a good idea of what we're going to do. I'm going to take a short break before we head into the next attempt. Each attempt's taking about uh, 40 minutes to an hour, so it's going to chill out in between the attempts here. Uh, pretty sure we got it this time. If not, that's fine too, but we obviously have a, a strategy that can win. He only had 8 mil HP left uh, at the end there. Yo, Dr. Grog, welcome to the damper thanks for that prize for it is anagi thanks for 42 uh during that attempt too reginald 38 and tco dan thanks for 50 months i'll return in just a second to kick it off with another attempt enjoy this um well i can't say she's sleepy daisy but she's there
All right, we're back. Thanks for your patience during that brief one. Let's head back into what I think is going to be our final balloon area attempt here. If we don't get it, I'm okay with that. I'm actually very happy with our almost through tier five, though I think we can do it better. All right, so I think the big takeaway from that last attempt is that we can build a Paragon unit without selling the tier five. And if the, this boomerang monkey had not been sold... We probably would have had closer to a 20, 25 level Paragon. I also think something I'm going to try this time is put a bunch of tier 4 boomerang monkeys in this little cubby. Because we'll get a ton of pops at the start, and then we'll get a much higher level. That's the plan anyways. All in all, a very uh, strong attempt. This one as low as possible here. Really enjoyed the uh, challenge of Blunarius. Uh, not exactly going for what would be considered optimal strategies, but I think it's fun to play around with what the margins of things are, uh, even more so than getting uh, that assured win. If I wanted to get absolute maximum economy, we'd go uh, top level banana farms um, into just lots more banana farms. But uh, Merchantmen seemed like a fun attempt, and we've pushed it pretty darn far. Yeah, I'm sure it is beatable without Paragon's uh, mass tank, but you'd have to mm, spin very a particular way. We also could have waited to sell all of the uh, economy towers till a little bit later, too. I'm not sure what the perfect point for selling economy towers is. It almost seems like selling them right as the boss shows up is good, but uh, you're getting four, five, six waves during the boss, too. So uh, hard to say on the income amount. If anybody has a guess on that, I'd love to hear it. I guess the issue with the selling later rather than earlier for me, I just personally not that somebody else couldn't optimize it better, is that you're in like a mad scramble to place down units after you sell, right? So uh, unless you have a very definitive plan of what you're going to buy and win, it seems very difficult not to sell right away or sell early. Hey, that's an idea, Wiz, to absorb um, absorb them with Monkey Village. I like that. That would be another way to increase our income further. So many good ideas. Too many ideas to parse, to be honest.
There was definitely room to absorb and replace farms too. Um, I think our biggest window in the last attempt was after we bought the first Paragon. We did at one point have almost 500,000 uh, in hold. Right, we gotta buy Grape Shot Hot Shot here. Uh, Mechadero, the boss battles are a limited time event, and they choose which map you're facing on. Uh, so this is... they're going to give you a map each time it spawns, whatever the boss may be. I can tell you one thing I've improved upon in all my Blue Nereus Tims on this map. I've gotten a lot better at placing merchantmen on this one. Not till today did I figure out how to get five in here. Just going to put this down for now. I might sell it later. Okay, there's that. And we're going to place this right here. Am I going to get right or wrong this time? I guess we'll find out now, won't we? A little more over, actually. Right, right there looks good. Okay, I'm going to do what I did last time as well, which was upgrade to Marketplace before going Long Life Bananas, but doing that before I place the next one down. I goof that a little bit. Get that sorted out now before I lose any more discount. Last time, I think we had one less merchant man and we got five down before Blunarius appeared or as Blunarius was appearing. Really? It's not in range? What the heck? No best game. Dude, this kitty is mega spicy today. Like, Daisy's on, like, an attacking rampage. I say attacking, but she's playing with the other cats. The thing is, the other cats don't want to play right now, but they don't have a choice because... because Daisy Doodle Dip picked Caddington. I don't disagree. There's probably room for improvement um, after round two or in round two. Okay, well, there's that. So we're going to get our fifth one down run now. Rot her. Right, now we're going to place another hut. One right here. Wherever this hut lives, I saw it. Where is it? Oh, come on, man. Don't, don't do me like this game. God, she might as well be a house lion. 
say that jokingly. She is uh, she's a wild beast, man. Just don't forget she was advertised to us as a shy kitty. A shy kitty who needed help coming out of her shell. And now, uh, now she's rampaging on everybody in the house. Shy kitty, though. Alright, we're gonna go grape shot now. Um, so we're gonna go st stronger stimulant. I'm gonna try not to put down the other one this time. There's a follow up to that, but words are hard. Okay, that worked. I wasn't worried about her being a shy kitty. None of our kitties are all that shy now. We got a nice chill house for cats. Well, more chill more chill when Daisy wasn't here, but that's life. All right, now I'm going to go into getting Central Market, because that increases the income of these as well. Also a little unsure on the math on this. Look at that. That was the key, having Grape Shot, Hot Shot in the middle. That's what we were missing. is looking really good. Does this village have large radius? Not yet. Thank you. That'll get this one discounted. That will definitely pay for itself. That we were able to get a five in there with none of that, though, is incredible. Okay, seven rounds till the boss appears. See, we cleared the waves no problem that time. I didn't add any more units. It literally was the lack of grape shot, hot shot that was getting me before. Now we know. That's right. Now we do, in fact, know. You can do it. I believe you. I saw it. I saw it. Hell yeah. Getting six marketplaces around this hut feels great. There's actually room to put a unit here, too. Okay, I'm actually going to go... Um, Oh, hold on. I'm going to do this. We're at 60%, and now my goal is to get a trade empire. I feel like somehow the income's better than it was last time. What do I know? I'm just a guy playing balloons. Uh... Play in the long game. Okay, I'm just going to do those for right now. Uh, and then I'm going to grab uh, the tax zone. I take, I take it back. Maximum greed. Do 
Okay, attack zone now. Attack zone, um, Glaive Lord. What if I just went Glaive Lord first? I think we gotta do it now. Go, Glaive Lord's next. Then Primary Village. Little bit worried about this first explosion wave out. Very worried, in fact. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. What was I worried about? Okay. Okay. I think Glaive Lord's looking pretty smart right now. Let's get it before it reaches here. I'm going to place a couple uh, units here. Why is this island inaccessible? It's got to be because of the placement of that unit. It's got to be. I didn't think they went outside the water, but I guess it does. Kind of has to be the case. That... Juggernaut right here. Oh, I haven't got primary expertise yet. Okay, let's grab that. That's going to be the one right there. This should finish it off because it gives the attack zone even more pierce. In fact, I would say we're set now. Okay, if we're already set, we got the 100% bonus to... Merchantmen, we have as many merchantmen placed as possible. Should now go something like this. One more will be fine. I think we're, like, pretty far ahead where we were last time.
Okay, Blunaria's down at a very good location, too. I don't have Monkey Wall Street yet. Let's get that down too, and then we're, uh, I mean, there's not too much left to do for finances. Monkey Wall Street. All right, I'm definitely going to make Banana Central here. Pretty sure. Definitely gonna need another um, boomerang monkeys up here as well. Start building that paragon level. I'm gonna try to get banana central here. If I can do that, I can spin pretty much un, uh, uninterrupted for a while. Okay, boss hasn't appeared yet, and we got banana central. That's good. I'll start here by putting down this guy. How greedy can I get here? Probably pretty greedy. Get this down though. Why is this not fit now? Is it Monkeyopolis? All right, well, for me right now, the income's not going to get much better than that. Ninja Monkey's just in the wrong place, dude. Okay, I'm gonna sell this real quick. I can rebuild him. In fact, we'll rebuild him as Master Bomber back here.
blue guy over here. I'm gonna give him uh, the super glue glue soap. All right, let's go ahead and build a cannon now. A little tech bot right here. Icy Monkey for Brittle would be really nice. Well... Definitely not looking good enough on damage right now, but if I ended up buying a Paragon unit, probably would be. Who's the best Paragon? I think this one. Okay, let's buy a Paragon regular unit next. Oh, I don't have Plasma Monkey Fan Club down yet. Okay. Is there an even more perfect placement for this? I think right here. Yeah, this looks really good. It's going to be cutting it close. That's exactly what we want. That's about the halfway point of the map. We're going to be okay. What level? 32, hell yeah. All right, now I'm gonna put down um, Engineer Monkey. Overclock. I'm gonna start overclocking the tack zone, which I can't see right now, I think it's that one. I'm also going to put down a bunch of boomerang monkeys up here. Okay. Okay, we're missing the Moab Domination here. Uh, that is the only Tier 5 we're missing. So I'm doing this just to get extra popping power on the Paragon when it's created. Just keep it chill here for a minute. What am I spending on right now? I got so much cash bucks. 
I guess we can just start saving for the uh, Glaive Dominus. I'd like to buy it at the last possible point, though. New crossbow monkeys, good call. Okay, you know what I want to put down right now? Um, well, Permabrew Alchemist for one. But I want to get this monkey down right here with Embrittlement. So this is a good spot for him. I don't have to ferry him. A little super brittle, uh, larger radius. So this is a really big debuff on the boss, like five times damage in this zone. We're going to buy Permanent Brew. We're going to make a Chinook. I'm going to put in this cubby here. Please fit. Thank you. And lock in place here. A mad would be a very good unit to start getting a uh, bonus on. Also, let's sell off this monkey buccaneer. I want to see if this frees up a spot in here. It's so freaking weird that's not there anymore. Anywho, if one of these left, there's got to be a spot now. There's got to be. Come on now. Where is it? Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. Uh, okay. Tier five, grow to the space. Okay, well, I'm gonna sell this one too then. Hold on. Put the energizer down there. Right, we're gonna go like this. Is this really where I want the aircraft carrier for Glaive Dominus? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe right here is really good. Yeah, that actually looks quite nice. Alright, you gotta get to Moab Domination. Missed at least one overclock there. I'm gonna put uh, this on top. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this right now, too. It's gonna be the Bloon Exclusion Zone. Okay, the damage is not freaking bad right now. How do we feel about this? I guess this is how it's gonna be. Okay, okay, hold on. I goof then? I thought I could just make this into the tier 5, but I was wrong. Um, where do I want Glaive Dominus then? Which one of these has the best location, technically? Probably this one. Maybe this one. Yeah, this covers the, the front and the back. I could transport the uh, monkey, you're right. Here, let's do that. It's a great uh, freaking idea. I'm gonna move this one down here. Here somewhere. This is probably best, it covers the most. How many overclocks we got on this? Seven. I feel like we're winning this phase right now without buying the Glaive Dominus, and in that case, I should wait. Yeah, we're gonna win this. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can fit the Energizer in here now. Faster overclocking, that's eight. That's exactly where I want the mad.
Okay, well. Go up here and do a hospital monkey. Did I get permabrew yet? I did. Let's shinook permabrew, dude, over here. For now. Where did I just put that unit down? Okay. We are doing really good right now for not having Glaive Dominus down. I'm feeling nice at this moment. To start getting overclocks on this guy does a lot of damage. I mean a lot. Kind of move this window. As far as I know, Paragons cannot be buffed. Alright, we are winning this, and we have a ton of money left over. So, start placing some Tier 5, shall we? I think the burn ability on uh, Tax Zone here would be pretty good. Maybe not the best, but it's something. Go for this. This has a global hit. Okay, I'm gonna put this down here. This is gonna be carpet of spikes, bigger stacks. Um, I am also going to put down a tech bot for that. Alright, we're doing a lot better this time than we were last time, but I gotta find good ways to spend this cash. Now, this is a unit I like a lot. Okay, I gotta move this um, alchemist as well. Let's move him over here, actually. go. It's got to be powerful darts. All right, I'm just going to lock this thing in at the entrance because this will shred the regular balloons, which gives our other balloons more power level. Eight rounds? That's a long time compared to last time. Okay. Let's keep this going. Okay, we're at 4x on that. I'm probably going to put a tech bot down on this guy for tier 5 too. I think um, Legend of the Night is going to be what I put down, but it's really hard to maneuver him in these areas. Really tough. Go here. Still in brew range. Good. Let's go ahead and grab an Archmage. Let's go ahead and go here. Still in the brew range, too. Let's go Wizard Lord Phoenix. Tense magic. Yeah, I can get down with that. The uh, homeland defense, that'll be good. Do we have room to fit this hut in here? Not quite. Uh, this is really where I want to put the paragon, but that's also right where it goes. That is a toughie. Okay, I got an idea. Let's move this guy over here. I'm going to move the boomerang over there and then put down the hut for homeland defense.
Not seeing much harm in putting down a um, Necromancer monkey. Okay, what else do we want to put on the carrier? Okay, we still have five rounds till the boss appears. Okay, one thing we don't have right now that we absolutely want is tier 5 sniper set on strong for bonus damage. Uh, we definitely want to, if we're going to do that, then we want to have this guy down. Don't care about the money, that's not what it's about. Strong. Okay, now we're gonna shuffle you over here. This is gonna be where the Paragon's location is. I might as well wait to buy this till the last second, like when the boss appears, because we're getting uh, we're getting value right now out of that. All right, next we're gonna do hut here. Ish, there it was. Where you at, hut? I might as well put down Legend of the Night because I have the money for it. I don't have the places to move it to, but... Let's keep buffing this. All right, it's tech bot time again. On you. Tech bot time on you. All right, as soon as Blunarius reaches right here, I'm buying Glaive Dominus. You know what? I'm buying Glaive Dominus right now. Do it. What level is he? 24. That's a lot better. Slave Lord belongs right here. That's the wrong tree. All right, let's get Legend of the Night down. Actually, hold on. for range here, actually. Okay, that's a place you can teleport to. Let's also overclock this. Let's should nook the feller over here, I guess. Put down Apache gunship. Let's put down Comanche defense. Let's put down The biggest one right here. So here, let's put down a Robo Monkey. Or actually, the uh, Tech Terror. Oh, hey, I actually managed to spend my money. Cool. Flying Fortress does not target the big guy a lot of the time, but we should be able to afford that here. Not like I have anything better to do. Where did I put the Alchemist down? Here. I'm gonna move Alchemist over here. The Dark Knight over to this side him buffed up.
Okay, we can get Flying Fortress down now. Maybe if I can fit it in here. There it is. Okay. This guy at 10. He's at 10. Okay, I need to pick a new uh, overclock target. I don't even know. Uh, how about... How about Dark Knight? Oh, I know a good unit now. Let's put this over here in the radius. Okay. Let's do this. More attacks. <laughs> do another tech box. I can. We're going to tech this up right here. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, and somewhere to put them. Gotta sell these off now. Where's he at? <laughs> Don't actually know where Blue and Aries is. I guess it's right here, right? This is looking good then. Now he's up here. I don't know if that does any good, actually. Can I move him to be closer right now? Can.
No. Okay, he lagged his way off the screen, I understand. Okay. Alright, time to unlock this, uh... Okay, well, let me click on it, that's fine. I get it. Oh, snap. That's the last pop-out. If we get these bads, we are in a good spot. No, really? Oh, come on. Don't do me like that. Oh, they exploded. Okay. I think we're all right here. I think Storm Druid got us. Storm Druid saved us. Storm Druid saved us by blowing those away as soon as the bat exploded. Gonna be close. GG. Woo. We did it. Feels nice. Yo, during that absolute madness, let me get caught up here. Mizuins, thanks for 23 months. Valu88, thanks for 81. Uh, Lose Minded, 81 as well. Ain't No Profit, 58. And Oni Tenu, thanks for 70. Nice, we made the Merchant Man strat work. Feels good. Definitely was not an optimal strategy, but it got the job done. Yo, Inscraft, thanks for six months. And Punky, Brewmeister, thanks for making it official with Prime. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Guruhan, thanks for 76 months. Okay, pontoon power, cool. Did I get anything for that? What was the what was the reward for elites here? This. Okay, so we got 
monkey, whatever this is, some sort of sticker. Maybe that's an avatar. Is that one of these things? Nope. Oh, banners. Nope. Chivos. Okay, here we go. That's what that was. Ooh, two gold elites. Let's check this out, man. Ooh, yeah. Free juggernaut. Sounds good. Free glaive lord. All right. All right. Not too freaking shabby. That was awesome. I think if we didn't get the engineer monkey down, we did on that one. Uh, we were done. It was really close. Really close. All right. Well, I think I'm satisfied with balloons for today. We're not quite done yet with the stream. We're doing the Spelunky 2 daily coming up. Uh, give me just a moment here to set this up and get a prediction going. We'll also take a short break after that absolute madness. No, I don't want to exit OBS. Awesome. All right, let's pick our character for today. You know it's going to be Jay, because Jay is the daily dude. Got to get that penguin in hand. All right, let me start this prediction before we take a very short break and kick off the daily. Prediction question will be very simple. Will this run make it to Cosmic Ocean? I'll give this one a 10-minute timer. Yes, it will, or probably not. Feel free to wager some of your channel points if you choose to at this point. You can get those by doing the uh, bottom left. All right, I'm just going to stand up, stretch real quick, uh, cool off after that really amazing Tier 5 Blunarius attempt. We'll be back in just a couple minutes to kick off the daily. Good luck again to all those that wager. We'll return momentarily for some more fun. No kitties right now. That's fair. That's fair. Be back soon.
Alrighty, we have returned. About four minutes left. Get your prediction in here. Gonna check where we're at right now. Wow, over two million in the pool at this very moment. 62% yes, 38% no. Alright then. Still four minutes to go. Let's get this penguin in the hole. Let's review the rules of penguin in the hole. We land on this tile. Very good. This tile. Okay. This tile runs cursed. Bless this run, Jay. Corner pocket. Perfect shot. Yo, mycologist, thanks for 20 months. Let's kick off this daily. Hmm, that's like spicy back there. No thanks. Rock looks pretty lucky. What's going on down there, Percy? That's tough. Not even I, Jay, can get you. Pretty good 1-1. One, one. Okay, well that's a uh, that's a store. It's got stuff in it. Okay, so I want to bomb this key from here. Yeah, I was a little worried about needing a bomb and a rope there, but that's better than having to cook two or three bombs, I think. You have a nice life, Mr. Lizard. Very nice. Okay, I don't want to push this block through, otherwise we have to use a bomb again. I saw the key down there. Now that was a good chime. This run's blessed. All right, exactly 45 seconds to get your prediction in if you want to. Not bad, not bad. I shouldn't have done that. Oh no, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's calm down with that. So the reason I shouldn't have done that is I'm trying to sacrifice stuff on the shrine, not kill it. Get up here, you stinky mo. We still good though. That is a lot of sacrificable uh, unit near the shrine here. Wow, even more down there. Okay, give them the old turkey elevators. Give me a second. All right, we are halfway to Cuppy Cup. Wow, it's all right there. Okay. Oh, that guy's trapped, isn't he? All right. Oh, snap, I did that right. Oh, no. Okay. Do that again. 
Lizard's very dangerous to me right now, apparently. Juicy cup, get. All right, now we're cooking. There's an unbelievable amount of stuff that was just, like, right there to sacrifice. With no damsel, it's really rare to be getting your cuppy without, uh, without one damsel sacrifice. A little bit weird. How many... Is it just one rope here? I'm gonna do one rope for six HP, I believe. That's a good idea. Okay, feeling better now. Not about the ropes, but about my health. What's up, Legend of Turkey Town? Was good, was good. Hmm. I like him there either. Alright, that's enough playing around. Me and my turkey are out of here. technically rescue the turkey or rescue Percy there but not without some pretty extreme danger Sounded good. Because it was good. Going into this like I have aggro, I don't. Later, Tater. There's a blood getting tool. Let's go. Kali Ma, you shouldn't have. Leave that poor sleeping fella alone. Nice life, I think I'll take it. I'm just not going to go over there. Got to live with the consequences on that one. All right, I only got four bombs, but do I really want to fight this spider right here? No. Let's do it. Nice job, Jay. Oh, dude, I missed that. Hello, how you doing? How you doing, bud? That's no jetty. There's our bomb sorted out, though. Gift bum. You know what? All right, I'll do this.
All right, I'm out of here. Pretty good level. Plus 12 bombs. Statue, pepperonis. Yo, Axelon, thanks for 13 months. And Danger Nub, thanks for 27, man. Thank you. That is a really nasty placement for that witch doctor. All right, we know the bow is going to be on the bottom half, and I think I saw a crate down here. Is that a crate I saw? That was an urn, dang it. Wow, it's way back here, huh? Way back in the corner, furthest place it could possibly be. Well, that's something. What's up, guys? Um, cool. And you have a nice day. We need to find the sister here. I don't believe we've missed her yet. To go further over? No. So top right could be a possibility, and I don't have shoes. That ain't it. All right. I think we can make this jump. I don't see why not. Actually, never seen that jump in a Spelunky level. Cool. Okay, bottom right for the sister then. <laughs> I'll wait. I'll wait. No way you can shotgun jump with the bow. That's a really cool thing. I had no idea. All right, well, it's two bombs to get to the sister. Uh, hopefully not a rope here. Ooh, that's looking pretty ropey. Okay, fine. I'm gonna fix this right now. It's fixed. Boy, there had to go through a lot to get to you. Just, just saying. Could use twelve bombs later or something. I'll wait. Run free, Percy. Wow, that's really cool. Thanks for saying that, Carillo. Uh, never been in a situation where that's relevant, but I bet one exists for me. Percy did not run free. Uh, that monkey's just messing that guy up. Going in for the kill. Mo. Hey, Chad, Dad. Thanks for 73 months. Six plus years. Did he just smush my pepperoni man? Oh no, the shield got destroyed. Interesting. Mm, I did not see that there was... Okay, we're not dead. Oh boy, witch doctor down there.
I can get back up there, no problem. You know what? I don't like the way this looks. That's good. This is where all that frog in the hole practice comes in handy. on here. Dude, even more fellows? Interesting. There's no black market here. There's a fellow there as well. Um, I don't like this particular structure. The double spike. It's not even that dangerous. It's just it's got spikes on it. Scary. Double kill. I'll take those. Uh, yeah, I'll buy a bomb box too. We're not like slamming on bombs or anything. Okay, here we go. Pretty spooky. What's back here? Is this the sister? That is not the sister. We're good. This is the black market level, however. The black market could be back up in here. I'm actually going to go look right now, because if I don't look now... It's, yeah, it's going to get weird if I don't look now. Kalima. Wow, it's literally right next to the shrine. Okay. Okay. That was not the bomb. That was the bomb. Well, I'm relatively broke right now. Let's see what's in the black market. Okay, sisters, bottom, right. Okay, that's a good start. A lot of scarab, too. All right. Hmm. All right, let's just let's just kit out here. We're not gonna buy the Hajit to pull the sword from the stone. We got lots of HP, and I can just do the other routes. Also got plenty of bombs to work with. Okay. I don't know if I can swing together like 30k <laughs> outside maybe, huh? Okay, my bow's in the black market. That is a long climb, dude. 
while we're here. All right, that's uh, a lost cause. It's actually possible, but I'm not going to do it, because if I mess it up, I die. Just two sacrifice points, sir. How much are you? 9,600. And I have to climb all the way back up? I don't know about that. Here we go. Here we go. Sister's bottom right. What is this little area back here, though? What is this? Dead end. Okay. Oh, good job picking the rock there. Good job. Here we go. Yeah, when you drop something on a critter, the stun duration is far less than if you... Like, way less than if you whip, like, one-fourth. All right, we didn't get our 12 bombs here, so we missed sister on 2-3... But at 40 health, 40 bombs, this is a sign to dig a big hole to put Olmec into. Mm, might be a little bit far right. Yep. Still fix it. Hmm. That was close. fun stream today. I'm glad we were able to uh, defeat that Blunarius challenge. Always a good time playing Spelunky. One of my favorite games. Alright. Back up we go. With a nice uniform hole to put the Olmec into. Let's go, Olmec. You know what time it is. A very barren top side of the level. Jay's always got time for 10 push-ups. My man. Yo, Dofish, thanks for 85 months and that tier 3 sub. Thank you. Big generosity. We do have pace, so tide pool is definitely a good option.
Okay. Uh, I just forgot to go to Waddler. That's okay. We still have the bow in hand, so we can do this. We're just going to forfeit our clone gun. It's been a while since I've done that. Whoa, that's a giant crab man. Uh, going back across here is not cool. Is this a level that's actually blocked off? Hold on. You have to use a bomb here. Wow. Never mind. I found it. All right, let's go. So best to use the clone gun on this level since we're not taking it with us. All right, Crab, you do your thing over there. That's cool, man. Wow. I'm gonna put this over here. There you go. Nice work. Yo, Sage Will the Eternal, thank you so much for 36 months. That is three years. Thanks so much for that continuation. Always being an awesome part of the channel and community. Thank you. What's left? This one. You've won. All right, I can't pick up the sword anyway, so I didn't have money to buy the crown. So, uh, with the time that I have remaining, I'm going to whippy whappy Humphead here. I gotta get Humphead over here. There he is. All right, dudes, time to go. Let's go. We're doing a lot of whipping here. Ow. He bites. Sir, let me get down to Evisceration Station. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, would you look at that? A doubter trying to help out in chat. How amazing. Put that down. He stole gold from him? Oh, man. I'll be taking this. Uh, my clone gun's over there? Okay, cool. Okay, we got spike shoes out of the deal. Right on. The dead are restless. Long skip level. Interesting. I have no idea where the entrance to the special area is here. Got to be like top right. It's going to leave that there for right now. Just looking here. All right, this is like way too high up to be anything else. Okay, this is the crypt. That makes sense. All right, looking for three pillars here that do not have gold, or at least two outside ones that don't have gold in them. That's right here and here. 
Um, we got a side structure and no other available spot, though. Like, this is it. Okay. Let's make this a little bit safer for ourselves. This is tricky. I don't have pitchers, Mitt. That looks good. Because it was. Nice. Now time for the trickiest jump of them all. Got him. Okay. Uh, you don't want ricochets, Ufo Xander. Not quite. go. So first thing we're gonna do next level is deposit the bow with water. It's our first first objective. on the home stretch. Alrighty. So we were planning on doing that anyway since we didn't buy the Hajit, but we're taking the bow with us instead of the clone gun is the only difference. All right, so we're going to look at item number 20 here. Uh, cracked Jade Eye. All right, that's cool to know. This is almost certainly Waddler right there. We do have Kali at the top of the level, but we got 31 HP right now. It's not insignificant.
Well, he went down the wrong way. That'll happen. I really don't like that. You know what? I'm good. There's something cursed about that, and I really don't want to use two ropes for, like, three HP. Sometimes you look at something, you just know it's not right. It wasn't right. That's too bad. That's too bad. All right, Percy, you're coming with me. I was a little worried about that. I thought that UFO would have found its way down, but mm, not quite. And we're off. that one going. Alright. Well, this level already has a particular um, feel to it. Alright, well, I can't get around that way. Uh-huh. That was done. Yeah, we did miss Tuss this time around. Thank you for that. Stop me from inadvertently going into there. I think what happened was it didn't spawn on the first level, and then Dead or Restless can't spawn Madam Tusk. Okay, uh, this is fine. Kali's just a little perturbed. We just don't want a third. That happened a third time, because then we'll lose. Uh, we'll lose it. Okay. Or we'll be haunted by a ghost constantly. Cracked Jade Eye. There's Simple Eye and Tall Eye. There's Onk. Cracked bats. It's on the right hand side then. Maybe the bottom? Hmm. There's smiling eye. Cracked jade eye. That's the one. There's the entrance. Gonna cycle that orb over there. Cool. Let's go. Jetty store? Power pack store. I'll buy a duplicate key. You're welcome.
All right, what the fudge? Oh, look, a cheese factory. Cool. That's how real Spelunky cheese is made. All right, let's just collect our HP here. No reason not to. Huh, one, one bomb for one crate. I might do that if there's an entrance here. There is. Take that. Oh, wait. Definitely could have made that. Wouldn't have felt good, though. Brand new cape? Nice. Not even a real dead guy. What a shame that was. Give me that. All right, this section is pretty weird. Be patient here. Okay. 
One more before I'm done. Here we go. Cool note there. Uh, we did didn't matter if we brought the clone gun or not because there was no sun challenge seven one. So our little whoopsie of not putting bow at Waddler didn't even really cost anything. Other than a little time. boost through then. Okay, that's very bizarre. Okay, let's uh let's go. Going up, please. No sticky thing there is fortunate. Curious. Definitely made good time up here. All right. I'm going to check the other side for sticky things and arrow traps. Okay, neither of those over here. Good. Greetings down there. Gotta wait one more cycle. I should have just gone right there, but I was debating doing a long float. Not not necessary. Yo, we did a yellow cape run. All the way through Hunda. Congratulations, believers. You did it. Enjoy those sweet channel point rewards. All right, here we go. Yellow Cape Cosmic Ocean. So that's definitely a thing. Thanks, Yetiman. Crossbow. All right. on orb down here. That's a good one. It's a very nice last orb. Uh, so is that. I'm guessing the exit is on the bottom side over here. I've somehow already seen it. There it is. Right? Hey, 
There's something you should never do. Yo, Fuji Bayashi, thanks for 22 months. All right, before we officially kick off our Cosmic Ocean attempt here, it is a Yellow Cape run. I'm going to do a prediction for this one since it's Yellow Cape. Uh, this will be a... Will this run make it to 733? 733. 733 levels. Well, I guess at this point, 29 levels from this uh, this moment. Five minutes on this prediction. I'm just going to stand up myself, just take a quick break after the daily run, and before we kick into the Cosmic Ocean, be back in just a second to continue. Uh, feel free to get your wagers in. Look forward to seeing where we stand. This is a very tough seed as far as what was given. I don't know what the Vlad side would have looked like, but pretty low bomb overall. Anywho, be right back. All righty. Let's see where this prediction stands right now. Yep, yeah, 70% yes on 733 Cosmic Ocean Cape. I don't know about that. That's 3.32 odds on doubting. Huh? I think I might doubt this one myself, but I'm going to give it my very best go right now. Yellow Cape is a little bit different. Um, well, quite a bit different than doing jetpack or vlads because you only have one jump i think the big trick for uh these type of runs is to fall down instead of climb up which is also a danger because you fall into an arrow trap well no good all right there's the jelly uh, is that a mole or a parachute that's a parachute can i make this oh hell yeah i can make that no rope required. Jay's cool because he always has a good attitude. And everybody likes somebody that has a good attitude. Look at his face. He's having a good time, Spelunkin. 
good attitude goes a long way for little Jay. Now we're gonna fall. Okay, we got exit that is top right. It's easy to access. There's an Orbo right there. Okay, swing and a miss. But is the bank open? The bank is not open. I mean, I don't like the way it feels, but I know it's safe. Okay, this is orb three. Uh, let's go ahead and clean up this exit here. That was tricky. I gotta be bottom right. There it is, bottom right. I'd like this crate. I'd like any crate I can get, in fact. We're not, like, loaded right now or anything. Alright, here's this. That's two. Just, just hang out here for a minute. We're all good, bud. No need for any more violence. Okay. Let's do a little maneuver here. We need to get to somewhere else. Good to know. I'll wait. Two seconds well spent. I was not expecting him to live like that. Okay, not dead. Got that one off. Is there a body here? Excuse me, sir, can I borrow your bod? A minute 21 right now. I am concerned. Okay, there's one right there. Okay, that's orb three. Where was the exit at? I saw it. I saw it. This one has not gone off. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Okay, arrow stub coming back in. Scary. I landed right there. Seen. It's just left-hand side for this exit. Yeah, top left, right? Yeah, right below this, in fact. That's why it was so confusing. It was right there the whole time. Okay, let's get this bat out of here. Just a really excellent last orb, and that is a really excellent bomb. You have a terrible day, sir. Oh, 
Okay, it's a very small level. Holy guacamole. Okay, what is going on here? Excuse me? Excuse me, is this the last one? That is a spiky spike. Okay, it is the last one. Whew. Ah, greetings, Temple. How does? This guy's gotta go. Squeesh. All right. You gotta go. Yeah, I don't like anything about this. Cool. I know there's poison spit that can still go through as well. Um, when do I just start blasting? Right about now. is it right here it's not three. Oh my god and there's a croc of men uh, you know just running around having a, a decent time I'm sure all right I'm putting this right here that skull on the side to mark for myself where I'm entering to go into the exits I continue going down because I haven't seen down here great looking real cool down here oh that's a couple thwomps that's a couple thwomps all right gonna give this a second make sure it's not like a, a full looping one okay There he is. Oh, dude, that was brutal. We are still alive, thanks to our Ankh. All right, how are we getting to the exit from here? Okay, my cape's off. Uh, GG, GG. I decided to drop down from my cape, and I paid the ultimate price. Well, congratulations, doubters. You win that time. Well, ain't that spelunky. I was outmaneuvered in that situation. I agree. I'll take it. Number two for now. Certainly won't stand as number two when everybody's done. Attempting the daily is still about 900 or more players left to run it. All in all, can't be unhappy with that, though. We did make it to Cosmic Ocean. Well, all right, everybody, that is going to conclude show number 2603 here on Twitch. Had an awesome time completing the Elite Plunarius uh, Challenge in Balloons TD6 and that awesome run of the Spelunky Daily. Be back at tomorrow around 12 p.m. Pacific to do it up again. Hope to see you there. Uh, until next time, keep it dapper and be good to each other. As a reminder, going to run three minutes worth of ads here on the way out. The only ads I play for the entire broadcast. Uh, if you let those play, thanks so much. If not, thank you for the time you chose to spend here. Look forward to doing it again tomorrow. Until then. Have a good one, Angel, Synth, Flutterer, Nag Captain, Mokum, Dikowski, Naroxis, Protato. Have a good one, Harry Fairy, uh, Ufo Xander, Vostok, Wyvern Link, Elusive, and all the rest. Until next time.